Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. In his rookie season, he set a Chargers franchise record with a 59-yard field goal, hit a game winner against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and helped kick the Chargers into the divisional round of the playoffs. From the LA Chargers, the Money Badger, Michael Badgley, is here. Wait, first of all, how do you get named the Money Badger? Uh, it was kind of those things where the fans created it, and I remember I was sitting in my locker, and one of the reporters asked if that was a good name, and I said, I'm not going to make up my own nickname, so I guess we'll run with it. It sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just have to be honest about this. I feel really bad for two athletes in major sports, kickers and goalies. Like, I feel really bad for you guys <laughs> because you can be put in some really uncomfortable positions where the pressure is all on you. Do you ever feel bad for yourself? I uh, never feel bad for myself. You kind of sign up for it when you become that position. Uh, but uh, I enjoy it. I mean, because that's your one time to kind of get to be the guy. So it's fun. But then what if you're not the guy? Like, that's all on you. You know, you just got to live with those kind of situations and kind of move on. But if you can be the guy and do your job and nail it, no one Because cares. I sit there, like, I'm watching the game and the announcers just go in on you guys. They've got the camera on you warming up. They're like, well, this was his last field goal. This is his longest field goal. And, like, the pressure is all on you guys. And I always feel like... The rest of the team, they put you in that position, and then you are the one who have, has to deal with it. Yeah, you know, you could, you could look at it in situations where, you know, why didn't he throw a touchdown pass or why didn't he make a tackle earlier? But at the end of the day, you know, more TV time, more camera time, why not? Just go out there and do your job. Have you ever been in that situation <laughs> where, like, it was on you and you could have been the man and you didn't make it? Yeah, there was one situation. It was actually my last game at Miami. Uh -huh. uh, we, we missed like a short field goal. And, you know, we were kind of down and out of the game, but it was still a situation where I could have put the team back into a position to win. Yeah. And the camera just it felt like it was on me for like 20 minutes. Yeah. So I think at one point I kind of just looked at it and gave it a wink. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, did you do your job here? Like, good for you guys. So it was just kind of situations where you know what's going to happen one time in your career. Because I sit there like after that moment happens, I'm like, oh, that poor guy, he's going to go home and cry for like five days. Is that what happens? <laughs> never. No? I will never cry for a game that I enjoy so much. And if, if that ever came down to it, you kind of sit there and realize that there's bigger stuff than football. But okay. I'll never. So like a day and it's, it's gone? Yeah. I mean, if okay. it's a big game, maybe you cry just because you lost the game. Uh -huh. And, you know, if it was to go to the Super Bowl or the Super Bowl, then maybe you're you're feeling for your teammates and you're feeling for yourself, but no one ever cry. Okay, so let's move <laughs> on to the Chargers. So you got the call in week six to come be the kicker there. Where were you when this happened? Uh, I was hanging out in Hoboken with my buddies, you know, because it was a weird situation. Usually they work out kickers on Tuesdays, and I got a call on Monday night. So hmm. I was hanging out with my buddies, sitting on a couch kind of like this, and got the call, and they said, hey, are you ready to get on a flight tomorrow for a workout on Wednesday? And I was like... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it was it was one of those situations where you're just watching football, hanging out with the boys. and Yeah, just one of those situations <laughs> where you're just hanging out and an NFL team calls you to come work out for them. <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah. Well, we, we wanted it to. Were you aware that you became the seventh Chargers kicker in two years? Uh, I kind of knew the background history of what the Chargers had gone through mm -hmm. in that amount of time, but I never thought they went through that many. It was it was kind of a shock to see you go through that many guys. Now does that put more edge on you? Um you kind of you don't think about it, you know, cuz you know the, the way you get the workout and then you go and you're like, "Okay, let me just make this kick." And then you go, "Let me make the other one." And then it's you just want to go one kick at a time. And then it ends up amounting to, "Okay, well, let me stay here now. Let me be the Chargers kicker." So it's you kind of you don't think about the stuff that's happened in the past, but it's it was you know, I'm blessed that um, hopefully the last kicker. <laughs> hopefully the last one ever. Yes. <laughs> um, you started the season, though, with the Colts, and you were the backup kicker to Adam Vinatieri. Mm -hmm. That is like being the backup quarterback to Tom Brady. <laughs> um, how did that sit with you? Uh, it was cool, yeah. I was with the Colts in the preseason, so it was, you know, I went in there knowing what inevitably was going to happen, but, you know, I treated the job like a competition. I was going to try to get the starting job. Um, and, you know, you just learned so many things about, you know, being around a guy like that. And, you know, a lot of people ask, you know, what'd you learn from him? What'd you, you know, did he teach you anything in, kick, in, anything in kicking? And I go, you know, everyone's got their own kind of style and their own swag. The biggest thing I learned from him was just how to be a pro and how to be around the locker room and just, you know, how to treat the game. So that was the coolest part.
Okay, well then what did he teach you about how to be a pro? Well, so, there's some kickers that are just solely kickers and they're kind of just doing their own thing and they'll go to practice and then they'll leave. You know, if you get a chance to lift with them, you know, go hang out with them, uh, you know, just just be cool. I don't know. It's just hard. be cool. Because our kicker's normally not cool. Is that what you're getting at? I don't know. Not as cool as I am. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love that you said that. Well, because kickers are, like, they're isolated a mm -hmm. lot from yeah. the rest of the locker room. Did the Chargers welcome you? Well, first, you got to go out there and make kicks. Yes, so they, number one. So that you're in there and that they know your name and you're able to walk around with no one looking at you with, you know, goofy eyes. Um, you know, when you're in the, when you're in the weight room and you're able to go do a couple of bench presses with Mike Williams, and he's cool with you, and you, know, you introduce yourself, and everyone starts giving you nicknames, you know, calling you badge, calling you money badger, or whatever money bags, as Melvin Gordon says. Uh, he but, calls you money bags. Yeah, I was. Oh, I, like Cardi B. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, great. So Melvin, Melvin, Good job. Melvin liked that one. Um, you know, and then. You know, when we had that trip to London, we were on the road after Cleveland, so we stayed out in Cleveland, and then we went to London, and, you know, I got a chance to kind of really meet the guys, and luckily I had done my job, I guess, well enough to where they're like, oh, I know, this guy's pretty cool. So yeah. it was, it's just, it's, it's getting to know them. So you had the, the game winner against the Steelers. That was <laughs> such a huge moment. Comeback win. How did that feel for you? That was awesome. You know, it's Sunday night football. Yeah. Uh, so that experience alone, I was I was fired up to just even be out there. Um, but yeah, that game winning situation was a wild one. You know, we got three attempts at it, and you know, I beat myself up because I'm just like, you know, why don't you just make the first one, and then there's not even any controversy because then everyone's saying, oh, took him three tries. Well, I go, well, they shouldn't have given me three tries then. So it's kind of on them. Be sure. So and you know, any day we'll we'll take the win there, but. Yeah, no, that was a cool situation, and you know, like I said, I, we got a little bit more TV time out there. It was cool. <laughs> you like the TV time? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, did Philip Rivers say anything to you after the season ended? Uh, yeah, so I, I got a couple Philip Rivers stories, but yeah, right after the season, we're, we're flying home from the Patriots game, and uh, everybody's kind of got, you know, we're, we're feeling the, you know, the loss and everything. You kind of get over it. It's a long flight. And we're talking, reminiscing on the season. And, you know, he kind of looks back at me at one point. I was just sitting in my chair watching a movie or whatever. And he looks back at me and goes, you know, Badge, you're probably like top five chargers right now off of what you did this season. I was just like, Whoa. wow. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Top five. I think, I think he meant in a sense of like they've gone through so many kickers in the past uh, years. But, you know, it was pretty cool. Here that is really me. cool. Yeah. Which is um, <laughs> progress because I heard that you had a – awkward situation with <laughs> Philip Rivers earlier in the season. Can you explain that? Yeah. Uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't too awkward. It was more of like, you know, I was just kind of being the tough guy or whatever. So Sounds awkward to me. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I go, you know, we had the Raiders game and uh, I'd kicked uh, two field goals. We were up we were up enough at the end of the game where the game was kind of winding down and Philip was done or whatever. And I go over to him. He's talking to our long snapper and uh, our punter. And I go up to like, hey, good game, 17, but just too, too many field goals today. And I just kind of, I walked off, and he, I think he looks at me, and he, he goes, is that kid serious? And he's telling Mike and Donnie, and he goes, yeah, he goes, I want to choke that kid out. He thought I was serious, but I was just like, I was just playing around with him. But then, you know, weeks go on, and, you know, he kind of knew it was out of good humor. And then I, I, I think there was a game where there was like four or five field goals, and he goes, you know, Badge, I don't think you're getting this much media attention without four too many field goals, huh? And I'm just like, ah, still going on about that, huh? Hey, now you're top five on the Chargers. <laughs> yeah, no, Phil's awesome. 